when thinking about how uh, polar graphs, polar equations are drawn, it's hard to visualize um, how they actually get drawn. So this TI Inspire document will um, allow you to use your Inspire to get an idea of how graphs are drawn. So this is the effect that I'll demonstrate. So we have the butterfly curve there, and as I move this slider, it draws the graph and you'll notice that this is really bad this doesn't look like this graph so you can change the resolution on this and make it look as close as you need to this graph okay so let's get started let's go to add a graph and graph entry edit polar and here I'm going to enter the equation of the butterfly curve. Uh, you can use whatever uh, polar, gra polar equation you want. So there. And then let's go to insert listen spreadsheets. This first column, let's call this theta. And for the values, let's type sequence or SEQ n and n comma n. 0 to interval, comma, step, enter. It's going to give you an error. That's OK. We're going to define these later. OK, and then for this one, let's call this polar. And for the values, let's make it R1 of theta. And a bunch of errors again. And for the third column, let's call this xval. And for the values, um, let's call it polar times um, cosine of theta. And for the y val, this is going to be polar times sine of theta. Okay, now we have all these errors, so let's go back to our graph and let's change it to split screen and I'm going to fix this view I'm going to change it to square move this up zoom in a bit okay and now let's uh, insert actions insert slider let's put it right here and name it interval and let's readjust its size and change the settings. So right click settings and then um, we're going to change the minimum to point, or point zero 0.01. No, just keep it at zero. And then maximum, let's say, oh, 30. Step size. <coughs> Okay, and let's go again and insert another slider. And this one we will call step. Let's make this large. And let's change the settings on this one too. So right click on it in settings. And then change the minimum to 0 0.01, the maximum to pi over 8. And for the step size, Point zero 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 one. Okay. All right. And now let's um, let's let's hide the axes here and move this over on top here. Okay. And then let's go here and add data and statistics. And then let's make this xval, this yval. Let's connect data points and adjust these. 